Hi, kiddos. Happy Friday. We have had a very long week reading lots and lots of words with this ooh sound spelled so many different ways. But you have worked really hard to learn all of these different patterns. So today we're going to review all of them and then you're going to have a chance to show your teacher how much you have learned this week and do some reading and activities with all of these ooh patterns. Let's read some sentences with some double O ooh words. Are you ready? What does this one say? Pause if you need more time. Did you read my boot is too loose. Good job. I must need to go buy some smaller boots. Fit my tiny Cinderella feet. <laughs> Let's read another sentence with some double O oo words. Ready? Pause the video if you need a little more time. Okay, here we go. Soon. It will be noon, and we can go to the zoo. There is actually a sneaky ooh word in that sentence that does not follow this double O pattern. It follows a different ooh pattern. Ding, 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 ding. Can you find the ooh word in that sentence that has just one O? The word two. At the end of the sentence, I say to the zoo. That word two is spelled with just one O because it's talking about a place that you are going towards. Let's do one more sentence with double O's. Ready? Anybody in the mood for a little phonics throwback? No, Mr. Wetzel, what is that in the road? Mr. Wetzel, a cow. is there a cow in the road? Uh-oh, uh-oh. I sure hope the farmer knows that he's out and about. Hi, buddy. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's coming right for us. Oh, no. What, what should we do? Hello, buddy. Hi, friend. We're gonna go tell your dad that you're out of your fence. Bye. There goes Mr. Wetzel to tell the farmer that that cow is out of the fence. There he is over there, still hanging out on the road. He doesn't want to go. He's being such a naughty cow. Looks like you're running him. <laughs> Look at his grouchy little face. Uh, Dad, I didn't really want to go back in the fence. Oh, well maybe if you're gonna feed me. You got any snacks? Any moochies? <laughs> that was funny, Matt. Why didn't you laugh at me? Oh, it's slippery, bud. Watch your step. Good job! The loose cow said moo. Here's my best cow moo. Ready? Mm. That's, that was not great. I'm going to try that again. But she would not try that again. She would immediately forget. There are going to be two ooh patterns in our next sentence. See if you can figure out what they are. Ready? Pause it if you need more time. I have a blue pen a ruler and super glue whoa that's a long sentence can you find two different ooh patterns in that sentence pause the video if you need some more time i tried to trick you there there are two words that follow you with a magic e and no consonant in between can you find the two ooh words that follow our U with the magic E pattern? One is a color word, blue, and the other word rhymes with that color word. 
glue. And there are two words in that sentence that follow you all by itself making the ooh sound. It's kind of tricky. They're hidden in the first syllable. Can you find them? The two words are ruler and super. In the words ruler and super, the U all by itself makes that ooh sound. All right, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to read another long sentence, and it's going to have two different patterns hidden in it. Ready? Pause the video if you need some more time. Here we go. Do you want soup or fruit juice? Can you find the ooh words? What patterns do you see? There are two words where the ooh is spelled O-U. Can you find them? U and soup. Good job. And what's the other pattern? All the way down here at the bottom of our card, we have UI. Can you find two words that follow that UI pattern? Fruit and juice. Good reading. Are you ready for another ooh sentence? Pause the video if you need some more time. Well, there's a very little bubble. Okay, here we go. I chewed my gum and blew a big bubble. Uh, I wrote this sentence and recorded this part of the video before I knew how much trouble I was going to have blowing a bubble at all. And so once I achieved that little bubble, I stopped trying. Moving on. What ooh pattern do you see in that sentence? Two words that follow it. E-W, this E-W pattern. What are the two words that have E-W-O in that sentence? Chewed and blue. Good job. Great job today, kiddos. I know that it is a lot to put in your brain to look at all of these different patterns and remember which words have which ooh patterns but your teachers and I are so proud of how hard you have been working. So keep it up, and I will see you next week. Bye! Here is a video of Mrs. Wetzel trying to remember how to blow a bubble with bubble gum. I needed to, to blow a bubble for today's phonics video, and I thought that I would be able to just pop some gum in my mouth and uh, blow a bubble, and uh, that's not how that works. I think maybe I bought the wrong kind of gum, but either way, I was very unsuccessful. I haven't done this in a long time. How'd you get the gum like to the front? <laughs> Just, I have not blown a bubble in a very long time. Hang on. No, I blew it in. I, I sucked the bubble on the inside. Did you see that? Hang on. Okay. How do people blow bubbles? Okay. I just did a practice one. It wasn't great. We're going to try again. Right? blow a bubble. How do you blow a bubble? I'm trying to to listen to my inner child and have her remind me how you blow a bubble.
Well, there's a very little bubble. Maybe I need more gum. Hang on. Okay, I put another piece in. I'm warming that one up, and then I'm going to put these other two back in. All right. Folding them in together. Okay. It's very surprising to me that this is a skillet that didn't stay with me. Here we go. It's not a bubble, it's just my gum. <laughs> okay, here we go. This one's in, I can feel it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why can this sweat on no bubble gum? And we're done.